Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a hospital bag, what's in my hospital bag video. Um, I love watching these because it kind of gives me an idea of what to pack and maybe what not to pack and all that kind of stuff. So, mostly I have everything packed. There are some things that I don't have packed and I just have like a list for you guys. I'll let you guys know what stuff I don't have packed at the end. Um, but I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. So I have three weeks left and um, I'm just prepared as I possibly can be just in case if anything happens at the moment. So that's why I don't have everything packed because obviously some stuff I'm still using at the moment. So that's why not everything is packed. But I'll show you guys what is in my bag. So first things first is I never thought of this the first time. Well, you don't really know the first time. And I recently saw someone, I don't know who it was, Tara Henderson or something like that. Um, she mentioned that she got one of these for her hospital bag for all the paperwork that you get at the hospital. And it's just one of these like little pocket binder things that have like the little, um, if I can undo my, just these little pocket binders that have little individual slots. Um, this is super smart just because you do get a lot of stuff in a hospital. I know that for a fact. And this just organizes all of your papers so that you don't forget anything, so they don't get crinkled, anything like that. I'm not bringing a diaper bag just because, depending on how long we're at the hospital, Jameson's going to need a diaper bag possibly. Um, so I just figured I can just pack the baby stuff in here because you don't need that much stuff for baby diaper bag wise in the hospital so I just figured I'd put his stuff with my stuff so that's gonna be in here as well so first thing is these are what are those called nursing pads <laughs> um, I don't think I'm necessarily gonna need these in the hospital but I figured I'd bring them just in case last time my milk didn't come in to help the day, the next day after, the day we got home, the next day we got home, whatever, <laughs> um, my milk came in. So I didn't need these till we got home, but I figured I'd bring them just in case. I am bringing a, just a black silky robe. This one is particularly, um, can't really tell because it's just black, but this one is from Victoria's Secret, just their classic robes that they have. I figured I could get like a soft cottony robe and I might still at this moment, but I didn't even wear a robe when I was in the hospital with Jameson. So I just figured I'd bring it just in case, but you know, I don't really necessarily need to get a new robe. So that's that. So I'm bringing some cosmetic stuff. I'm gonna bring my everyday makeup stuff which I think is basically just like what I'm wearing right now it's been super super light and simple um so I think I'm gonna put that on my face just have something on my face but I don't want to cake my face in makeup like that's just not what I want to have on my face while giving birth or when I'm snuggling with my newborn baby like it's just not what I want on my face so I'm just gonna bring my everyday routine which is just tinted moisturizer mascara and brow stuff and then maybe a bronzer too as well just because you know you kind of swell up I feel like I'm starting to kind of get a fuller face with this pregnancy now so I just like to do that to kind of shape my face a little so I don't look so round and puffy um so I'm gonna bring all that stuff but like I said I'm using it at the moment but the other cosmetic stuff that I got I just got little mini samples of stuff. Um, I got all this like just from Target. So I got the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, absolutely love this stuff. This is for if I decide not to shower. I have that to spray in my hair. Um, if I do decide to shower, I just got these OGX Argan Oil of Morocco. 
shampoo and conditioner. Um, they smell really good. So that's just kind of just that two little sample shampoo and conditioners. I got a Caress Evenly Gorgeous Body Wash. Again, nothing crazy, all from Target. I got Corey a um, Dove Men Care Body and Face Wash because I know he'll probably shower. Um, and then just a little mini toothpaste. This is just the Crest Radiant Mint toothpaste, the white, whitening toothpaste. Got all that stuff. Um, and then obviously we have to pack toothbrushes and that kind of stuff, but for the most part, everything will be pretty much packed. So I don't have to, I have a list on my phone of things that I need to grab last minute so that, you know, when it does happen, I'm kind of prepared, <laughs> kind of, even if it's not packed. So, and then for clothes wise, I've packed these little shorts. Um, these are from Target. I highly, highly recommend these if you are pregnant. They have them in pants, capris, different style shorts. They're from the brand Stars Above. I absolutely love this brand. They have like the softest stuff and they're just super comfy, stretchy. I highly recommend these or even just that brand in general. Go check it out at Target or check it out online or whatever. It's great. I have this shirt that I'm packing. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. It is gonna be the end of June. Um, when I have this baby, today it's supposed to be like 102 degrees, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear when I want to when I'm leaving the hospital, but I wanted to just pack everything that I, you know, just in case. I just want to be comfy, and that's my biggest main goal. So I packed a lot of options for whatever feels best at that moment. But I also grabbed a looser tee. This is from Airy. Um, I love this tee. It's one of their real soft ones. If you are ever looking for a t-shirt from Airy or anything like that, try the real soft ones because they are so soft and comfortable. And then it says babe in the corner, which I just think is cute. Pack a pair of just regular cheeky underwear from Victoria's Secret. Nothing too crazy. I know these are like more sexy kind of underwear. They are the no-show ones and I think those are the most comfortable. I just packed it just in case if I felt like the day that I left, it, I was comfortable enough to wear it. If I'm not, I can just wear one of those cute little diaper things. <laughs> but, um, I just figured I'd pack a pair just in case if, you know, that's what I was feeling at the time. I also packed, two, I think I have two of these, yeah. So this is also from Airy, and this is the real soft, but these are like little tank tops. Um, I know this, these, this doesn't fit me right now. It's a little too short <laughs> for my big belly, but I know that my belly will deflate. Obviously it won't be flat, but it will deflate a little so that these will definitely fit. I know that for the hospital. So I have this that I can wear um, leaving just in case if it's too hot outside. And I feel like wearing the tank top. I also have it in black that I'm packing too, just in case. All of my stuff is pretty neutral. So then I have these. These are the same brand as those shorts, but these are just like long pants and they flare out. I can't show you. <laughs> they flare out at the bottom. These are super cute and super comfy, like I said. So I packed pants just in case if I was feeling pants and not shorts. And if it wasn't too hot that I could just wear this again. While leaving the hospital, you're only outside for like two seconds, so I can always change when I get home. But, you know, I just wanted to pack stuff that was comfortable for me and stuff that I found comfortable because I want to be my comfiest when I'm leaving. So, and then I packed this jacket. This is more for like the hospital. Um, I know sometimes hospitals can be a little bit colder. You never know. But I figured since we'll be there during summer, it might be a little bit colder in the hospital. So, 
I just packed this little, it's a really like lightweight, thin, stretchy jacket. Um, zip up jacket. This is from Victoria's, or Pink, I guess. Um, highly, highly recommend this. They have matching joggers too, which are really comfortable. But that's okay. I don't know if they still have this. If they do, I'll link it down. I'll try and like link everything down below for you guys. Um, so you guys can find everything, but I really liked this because it was exactly what I was looking for. It's really, really thin, super soft, super stretchy, and just super comfortable. Um, so nothing I'd be dying in, but something if I just need a little light cover over it, or if I just want to cover up a little more, just, you never know how you're going to feel. <laughs> so I also packed a nursing bra as I have a string hanging off of it. Um, back to nursing bra. This one is from Target. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Um, this is the Auden brand, I think is how you pronounce it. It's just like a regular basic bra. It's nothing bra letty or anything like that. Um, just a regular bra. Packed that one. I also am going to bring this like sports bra y one. Um, this one I've had since Jameson, so it may not be the best shape or quality, but I figured I'd just keep it around. This one's also from Target. Um, I don't know what brand it is, but they do have some like this right now by different brands like Modella or that Auden brand. So I like these. This is really perfect for sleeping at night. I think I'm going to get another one of these just because at night is when you leak the most. In my opinion, personally, I feel like you leak the most at night because, you know, if you're trying to get your baby off of eating in the middle of the night, then you're going to still leak. And yeah, so I feel like you have to wash these all the time. So I like the sports bra ones. They're just comfy and good for nighttime. A couple of different hair tie options. So I have some scrunchies. I have one of those like spiral non-slip. I don't even know what they're called, but they're <laughs> they're like the the non-slip weird ones that are like rubber. Um, I brought one of these and then I just brought like a regular hair tie. If you can see that. <laughs> so I just brought different options depending on what I'm feeling or what's you know, because they all kind of like feel different in my hair. One feels tighter, one feels looser, one's more comfortable, one's, so depending on what I'm feeling in my hair. My phone charger, this is just a regular charger. A lot of people buy the longer ones, but like the 10 foot ones. But I was like, you know what? I really don't need to buy an, a 10 foot charger just for the hospital. Like if my phone needs to charge for 20 minutes, it can charge for 20 minutes and I can be off of it if there isn't a plug close by. So I wasn't too upset with that. Then I have um, a my computer charger. This is already packed just because I don't use it all the time right now. I just use it, use it every now and then. So I just like to put it back in my bag after I'm done using it so that I don't forget this. And then a couple of extra things that I brought for myself are lollipops. And these are just like... I got this idea from Tara Henderson and the reason why is because she got she said that she put these in her bag because I don't know if you, she said you couldn't eat after an epidural but she said something about eating an, with an epidural and she said she could have these I was able to eat after my last epidural but maybe every hospital is different or maybe she meant while she was having an epidural she could have one of these I don't really know but Either way, I craved sugar at one point in the hospital, and so I figured, you know what, I'll just bring these. It's a smart idea to bring just some sugar with you. Lollipops are perfect. So, I decided I would do that. I also brought just like a cliff Bar. Nothing crazy. I didn't bring like a ton of food because, you know, there's food and vending machines and all that kind of stuff there. But I figured I'd just bring one just in case I was in dire need ever of some food and something that I liked because right after Jameson, they gave me food and the only thing I could eat was the chocolate pudding. Everything else I wanted to throw up, like even crackers, I literally almost threw up. So I figured I'd bring something that I know that I could eat. 
that's all the stuff that I have packed. I'll go off the list after I go over the baby stuff that I need or that I have um, of what else I'm bringing. But move on to baby stuff. So I have three little just like onesies, like small little onesies. And I'm doing zero to three months and or three month outfit. I'm doing three month outfit because um, Jameson was a really big baby and he only fit in newborn stuff for literally the day that we left the hospital. So like three days he fit in newborn stuff and then he was into three month stuff. So I figured I would just do three month stuff. It's okay if it's a little big, it's better than being a little small. So I have a black and white striped one. I have a gray and white one. This has little words all over it. I um, can't really tell what the words say, but and then I have a black one that just says best baby ever. And then I brought some pants. These are just plain basic pants for him. Am I gonna, is he gonna wear all of this stuff? Heck no, heck no. But I wanted to pack all of it just in case and give myself options. So that is what I did. I have to still pack some sleepers because I haven't done that, but I haven't washed them yet. So this is all the baby stuff that I've washed so far. So I will pack sleepers too, like footy pajama sleepers, but I just haven't done it yet. So I'm still slacking a little, but I wanted to film this for you guys and let you guys know what I'm packing or thinking of packing. Um, I have this swaddle. I don't really want to unfold it because it's just like a, a, what are they called? Jersey? Are they like the Jersey swaddles? This is from Milkmaid Goods. Um, and this is just like the little print. It's like a denim with stars. And it came with a little matching hat. I don't think the hat will fit, but it came with it. So I thought it was super cute. And I think I'm going to take pictures of him in that. And then I brought another one. This one is from Copper Pearl, I think. Just like a black and white striped little swaddle. Um, yeah, it's from Copper Pearl. So this is super cute. And I bring it for him. And then I'm bringing him a baby blanket. And this is one by Baby by Kira. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it was Kate Baby by Kira. Baby by Kira, which she is a YouTuber. She just recently launched her baby line or her brand, Baby by Kira, and so I decided to get a little blanket. It's so soft, and I freaking love it so far, so I'm hoping that baby boy likes it, but it's super cute. It has, like, this green, what I, like, would say tortoise. I would say, like, tortoise shell looking color. Um, super soft on both sides, and I just thought it'd be cute. Is he gonna necessarily need a blanket because it'll be hot? I don't know, but I figured I'd bring like a warm, comfy, cozy blanket as well as the swaddles. So that is all that I have packed. I still do need to pack some pacifiers. We have to get some. I have to order some um, because I thought I had some that Jameson didn't like, but those ones I didn't like. He also didn't like them, but I didn't like them either. So I'm going to order some new ones. And then the list of things that I still have to pack are, um, I was thinking about getting a cardigan and bringing that um, as well. I surprisingly don't have any cardigans. And now is the wrong time, obviously, to be shopping for a cardigan. But if I find one in time, I'll probably bring a cardigan as well. Since I am bringing tank top, something to throw over, easy to breastfeed with, all that fun stuff. So there's that. <laughs> Um, but I need to bring a straightener, a com my computer, chargers I already have, so I can cross that off my list, um, my camera, an extra battery, the boppy pillow, I'm going to bring that for nursing and stuff like that, um, a blanket for myself because I always like to bring a blanket for home because it makes me feel a little more comfortable, and then possibly a pillow, whether for me or Corey. And then the pacifiers I need to pack. And I think that's pretty much all that I'm going to pack. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. 
I don't want to haul and move in to the freaking hospital. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm also going to bring flip-flops for the shower just in case if I do take a shower. Um, I have some old navy ones. Those like, I think they're a dollar right now. So I'll link those down below for you guys too if you guys are having a baby anytime soon and you need some sex shower shoes. Those are perfect for it. But like I said, I'm not trying to pack everything in the whole entire world. I'm trying to keep it light and simple. They do have a lot of stuff there at the hospital that they will provide you with, such as like pads and all that. I do have my own for when we get home. But last time I was pretty content using the stuff that they had there. Um, so I'll be fine with that. I even took some of the stuff home with me and still used it afterwards. Um, so, I didn't mind the stuff that was at the hospital. Some people do. <laughs> but like I was saying, some people mind the stuff at the hospital and they like to bring their own stuff, which is completely fine. I didn't mind it the first time and I figured I would just use it again the second time. It's also really convenient because if you run out of anything, you can just ask them for more. No matter what, you can always ask them for more, but... They pretty much have everything between diapers and wipes and, um, you know, diapers for me and pads and all that kind of stuff for me. So they even have anything that you may possibly need. You can always ask them to because they might even have it. Say it's something that you forgot that you may need. Um, if not, Corey can always run to the store really quickly and go. So... I know there's not a Target too far from our hospital, so he can always do that if I needed him to, or I can call a fam family member as well if I ever needed it. So, not too worried about bringing stuff. I like to bring as little as I can. We still have some stuff to pack, don't get me wrong, but that's mostly all that I'm bringing to the hospital with me. Um, but yeah, I'm 37 weeks pregnant. 36 weeks and six days, I guess, technically today, if we're counting down, which we are. <laughs> um, but that is all that I'm bringing with me to the hospital. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I think, I hope it helped you, whether it was what to pack or what not to pack, or, you know, helpful ideas. But I'll list everything in the description down below for you guys with my other social media, so go follow me there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, no, no, no.